what's going on you guys welcome back to another video so i want to talk about something narcissists do when they can't get supply and i also want to talk about these four things that narcissists expect from you narcissists are known to deny you the pleasure of choosing something other than what they offer you during the time of the discard whether they discarded you first or you discarded them first either way it goes you win because the narcissist is no longer relevant but the narcissist will always somehow put up a competition you know they always think that they're better for you than anyone they always think that their delivery is the best option and another thing that I always notice about narcissists is something they are known for saying after they have picked up on the fact that you're done with them. And that is, well, I was good enough for you back then. And why did you stay with me so long if I'm such a horrible person and stuff like that? And when a narcissist gives you the same old lame... <laughs> They give you that same old lame feedback to make you feel like, well, you know, if you choose a person like me, what does that make you, you know, know what your response should be? Just let them know, look, I didn't know any better then. I was blind back then, but now I know. And so you might as well move on because I'm done with you. Because narcissists think that you can't do without them. That's what they want you to feel. And, you know, in the process of trying to guess like you, that's one of the things they're known for throwing up. Oh, well, why were you with me for so long? Well, what does they make you? Or either they try to devalue you by bringing up how much better they can do without you. Like if being with you was doing you more of a favor than them, <laughs> you know, like if they stuck around out of sympathy for someone like you. When in reality, if anything, you know, you made their life better. They made your life a living hell. They suck all of the energy out of you, all of the goodness and happiness and freedom and just you know, everything. They just took it all away. But those are some of the things that they will say when they want you to feel like, you know, they just want you to, to feel worthless. Like if you were a whole waste of time the whole while that they were with you because you called them out on their true character. You know. And... When we express things that are understandably hard to get over, you know, that is something that we express in a normal human reaction. You know, it's normal to say that, you know, bad things happen to us. It happens to us all. But when we express how we feel, after, you know, the outcome or whatever happened, you know, because everyone has a right to tell their story. But the narcissist, you know, they don't want you to go into too many details about anything. If it makes it seem like you got the short end of the stick, you know, or you got a really bad deal somehow. They don't want to hear stories like that. All they want to hear is success stories. Because, of course, they're going to pass that off as something that they experience firsthand. It comes along with the future faking. They take your whole life story and use it as their own. But they cherry pick the juicy parts, you know, to make themselves seem interested to other people. Because in their mind, there's no such thing as an imperfect person. Oh, no, because a narcissist is perfect at all times. So they expect for you 
to express yourself in that way because when they, you know, when they chose you, you know, they knew they chose something special. It was something about you, you know, your your qualities, just everything about you as a person, your character, your heart, everything about you, your whole personality. They fell in love with that. They really admired it. Any little thing that you do, from the way you walk, the way you talk, the way you dress, your whole style, the narcissist was digging it from the beginning. And they couldn't wait, you know, to get a hold of you. Because they just needed to have that in their life. You give them such a high Imagine taking that away from them. Somebody told me one time that, you know, I asked the question, how do you get addicted to drugs? And they say, you know how you get addicted? Because that very first high you got, you're going to always want that same high again, and you'll never have it. That's why you keep chasing and chasing and chasing for a new high. But you'll never have that that high again as you did in that first one. And the way she explained it to me, I was like, dang. And that was like a, that was like just a lesson to me, like a message. And it has always, you know, stuck with me. And that's the only way I can see why would a person be so addicted to something. It's because the very first time they got it, they just have it in their mind that ideal of having it again that's why we we're not in love with the narcissist when we're love sick after going through the separation with the narc because of course they're going to try to hoover and love them and come back but it's up to us if we're going to take them back we were in love with what it what we want it to be we're we you know we're also chasing that same high but we're chasing it in a genuine way because it's something that we really were expecting from the narcissist and the whole while they sold us a dream and we don't want to wake up from that dream that's why i say when they're like throwing it back in your face well why did you choose me why were you with me that long because i woke up i woke up i was asleep then i was blind but now i'm woke now i can see and now i can see that you were the devil (laughs) so you know, but that is just a normal human reaction to bad things that happen to us. And when we tell our story, like when it comes to narcissist storytelling, they usually put themselves in a victim mode, whether it's in the beginning of the story or the end. And they definitely don't want you to express your regrets in life, like your imperfections along with your bad decision making. Because when you do that, It makes them feel a certain way. You see, narcissists feel like that you are a reflection of them. And that sounds so crazy as it is. You know, narcissists view things a certain way. You know, they look at it like, oh, well, well, nobody's perfect. And I wouldn't tell nobody things like that. They don't want you to tell your story. Because, you know, see, to them, it's like admitting to wrongdoing and it shows a different side of you. And the narcissists, they choose to deny that side, you know, because that is just something that they feel it's not necessary to talk about. Oh, let's just pretend like it didn't happen. And mind you, when it comes to the narcissists, their story you know, in the beginning, they're just as much as a victim as they are in the end, again. And there are never any regrets, never any self-awareness in their decisions. Either they play the victim to their circumstances or they falsely claim self-defense as an excuse to get away with their wrongdoings, you know. So when you show the imp- perfect side of you the north is like no let's keep that a secret because that's gonna make me look bad you know (laughs) but leave y'all thoughts down below on this and um thank y'all for watching talk to you soon